self-described Dublin bolshy woman. Isn't that a great description? <laughs> Paula Meehan is a poet who writes much about place, much about memory. Uh, two teams that are very strong in this absolutely gorgeous book. And I mean, the, poet, the poetry of Paula, the photography of Dragonette, and also the great work of Una Young, the designer who put this together. It's a stunningly beautiful book, and we are so, so proud of it. As old houses harbour ghosts, so do words. Take museum, which comes down from the Greek, a place to put things that please the muses, a shrine or seat of the old goddesses. What you find here might not be what you seek, rich, poor, citizen, commoner, lady, lord, mortal trace made immortal by design. Surrender as you enter through their door. No, all are equal here. In time's brute trust, we are held. The quick, the dead, the blessed, the cursed. Open heart and mind to those who've gone before to honor the muses, virgin, mother, crone, and hope to glimpse them ninefold in this house daughters of memory, oracles of grace. Not the clock to measure time and tide, but the moon, her waxings, her wanings, her track across the star-spangled heavens, trining and sextiling planets to net and land another whole incarnate soul to earth this karma in the shelter of the house. Cellular mirrors celestial, the spinning globe slows to rest with the mother's cries, the child's first breath. While elsewhere in the house, a different room, a death, a last glimpse of ceiling as the light fails lobe by lobe. Upstairs, someone dreams of walnuts, a new blouse, someone makes coddle, snuffs a candle, humps coal, sips vartry water, tra tastes trace of phyllite, quartzite, grey whack, shale, slate, bedrock lithographies from far off Wicklow, while Angela's bells ring out the noon. The start of our lying in was the end of mornings at the pier glass. Mouse skin eyebrows, eyes outlined in jet, cheeks rouged, got from recipes in the art of beauty, gall nuts, black lead, mercury, carmine, liquid pitch, her glued on beauty spots of taffeta and silk, her drapery, her napery, her blue, blue walls. Birth, the leveller, pays no heed to class, to kind, our crossing fraught with peril to body and to mind. In every generation, there are stars that fall, a lost galaxy of nurture with our mother's milk, a miracle we make it here without a hitch. This buzzing hive of life, this golden bounty, honey of survival in our ancestors' sweat, salt tears for those who don't survive the quickening. Yap, yap, raw mesh and rigmarole, if these walls could speak, hentown blather clucked from threshold to attic room, fabrications, downright lies, home truths and lullabies, story snagged from time, spun into the yarn of the house, the ghostly racket of the carriers of tales who lug their water buckets up and down the stairs, all gossip, all frittery bustle their epic. If musing on an ornamental frieze of oak, an iridescent bird through a canopy of air, let's drop a feather to your hand, then use it as a quill to enumerate such fates, damned or auspicious. The senses of this shelter might immortalize such vestige of lives endured through crash, 
through boom, flitting like some magpie, stolen trinket in her beak. So guys, I just want to say in conclusion, uh, Paula is a poet beloved of our national institutions, the state, including the president himself, Michael D. Higgins. Uh, but I think what's probably most important is the people of Dublin uh, love her work. And I think she's a great poet of the urban, of the suburban, of the working class experience, of the story of women in Dublin, and so many other things. And it's a great matter of pride uh, for 14 Henrietta Street to have published that beautiful collection. So thank you all for coming and thanks so much to Paula for reading these poems, many of which were read for the first time uh, in, in public here today. That was a, a great thing. So Grabina Mogu, we'll be back next month with another Tea Time Talks uh, with Frank McDonald uh, on planning in Dublin.